think when you really do consider uh, the challenges that business face today, and it's not just the short-term challenges that we're talking about in the recent economic unpleasantries that we've been facing, but over a period of time, the competition, the speed of change, the technology that's been implemented in so many parts of our business has simply just made business more complicated. And most businesses that we know at AMA have reacted to that in, in obviously many ways, but one of the, the, the standard reactions is to uh, reduce layers of bureaucracy, pass responsibility and authority further down into the organization, and expect the people at those levels, more people than ever before, to be able to act with a sense of, uh, of understanding that requires critical thinking, critical understanding, initiative, agility, skills that, that maybe uh, 20 or 30 years ago were, were largely reserved to people in the executive suite. We're expecting that kind of performance from people at all levels of the organization. Well, critical thinking has been important to, uh, to business operations for a long time. The, the point I think why it gets so much attention today is it's becoming more important at every level of organizations. The combination of co the competitive nature of business today, the global challenges that we face, the speed of change that we need to face with, encourages all of us to have authority and power passed further down into organizations, and we expect the people that, that accept that uh, responsibility to be able to look at facts, to be able to understand them, and uh, and make a real contribution beyond simply absorbing a few numbers from one side of a page to another, or, or taking facts as they're presented and not analyzing them. We've been teaching critical thinking through a series of courses, both direct and indirect, for over 20 years here at the American Management Association. When we looked at at revising the course that deals directly with those with those skills, a course that we teach 40 or 50 times a year to thousands of people over a period of time. We looked for a way to help isolate the concepts behind, uh, behind what we wanted to teach, and we found the red model uh, and the instrument it's associated with to, to be a valuable tool for us in building and constructing our course content. Well, I think, uh, you know, there's lots of formal definitions that you could probably find about critical thinking, but to me, it, it means uh, people who demonstrate and develop the skill to be able to look at facts, look at circumstances, gather those things, go, go deep enough into, uh, into a situation so that they can actually add value to a decision-making process or to a set of facts. The AMA's relationship with Pearson uh, evolved over a period of time as we were developing a revision of our very successful program dealing with critical thinking. We looked around at the available thinking about, about the subject and we found the instrument that we thought best helped us build a groundwork, a basis of uh, understanding on the part of the individuals who will be attending our program and, and then helps us uh, build a structure around that so that they can uh, spend a couple of productive days with us and have some good memorable things to take back to their workplace in, in terms of changing their behavior, which is in fact what we're attempting to do. So when I, when I refer to the instrument, I'm talking about the Watson Glazer. We use the Watson Glazer as part of a, a newly revised program that, uh, that takes the place of a course that we've been teaching for over 20 years here. If I had 15 seconds, I would look them in the eye and tell them that critical thinking is one of the most essential elements to the future of their career that they could master. It's something that they can develop, and in the process of doing that, will enhance their uh, prospects for advancement and, and uh, understanding in the companies and organizations they work in.